We now have the keynote address by Shri K. Ram Mohan Naidu Garu, Honorable Union Minister of Civil Aviation, Government of India. Andariki Namaskaram. The visionary and dynamic Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Chandra Babu Naidu Garu, Honorable Minister for Investments and Infrastructure, B.C. Janardhan Reddy Garu, Secretary, Ministry of Civil Aviation, Walnam Garu, Chief Secretary of Government of Andhra Pradesh, Nirab Kumar Prasad Garu, Secretary to Government Investment and Infrastructure, Suresh Kumar Garu, all the other respected dignitaries on the dais, respected ministers, respected people from the industry, the Drone Federation of India, Bharat Drone Industry, CII, and especially the young students who have come here to witness this great historic moment. A warm welcome to each and every one of you. Welcome to Amaravati and welcome to the Amaravati Drone Summit 2024. This is the first time I'm sharing the dais with Honorable Chief Minister after becoming the Ministry of Civil Aviation. And I'm very happy that it is an event concerning to my ministry. And the reason, this is one thing I have to say, this is the biggest and the first of its kind summit regarding drones that is happening outside the National Capital Territory of Delhi. And you would all know the reason why it is happening in Amaravati. It is because of one and only one person, that is our Chief Minister, Nara Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. In fact, after taking charge as Minister for Civil Aviation, lot of Chief Ministers from different states have come to me. And always the idea has been, whenever I've been discussing with those chief ministers, they have been requesting for either more airports, more connectivity. If they want to extend it a little bit, they were talking about heliports or helicopter operations. But only one chief minister from the country, when he came to me, he talked about airports, he talked about air connectivity, and he dug a little more deeper and he talked about drones, and that is our chief minister, Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. And he asked, he asked, as Minister of Civil Aviation, what exactly are you doing in drones? Because Andhra Pradesh wants to become the drone hub of the country. We want to utilize drones in a very big way. So give us a direction so that Andhra Pradesh can move in that uh, direction. So with those words, this summit was born in Delhi. At that time, Hindi said, you organize a summit, we will be there. You organize it, Amaravati, so that the whole country looks at Amaravati for once for this event. So once we have conceptualized, the whole thought process came in and at every step, the Honorable Chief Minister has been guiding us, giving us so many suggestions. And today, with the help and support of the government of Andhra Pradesh, we were able to put up such a grand show. So I thank the Honorable Chief Minister, Na Chandra Babu Naidu Garu, and the whole government of Andhra Pradesh for putting up a wonderful show and making it a huge success and inviting so many people for this. And once again, I would like to share another story. This is the story of Hyderabad. In the erstwhile Andhra Pradesh, I was 12 years old in uh, 1996, actually 10 years old. And at that point of time, Hyderabad was just like any other city in the country, any other capital city. Nothing great happening in that city. But our Honorable Chief Minister at that time, who was Chandra Babu Naidigaru, he envisioned, he saw the potential of that city. And he started designing. And he started visioning. He started looking into the future. And he made the Vision 2020. And you could imagine in 96, if you are thinking about Vision 20, how many, 2020, how many years forward he was looking at. 24 years forward. And that point of time, everyone was wondering, what is going on with him? Why is he looking at 24 years? The whole idea about a political leader, the whole idea about a politician is to win the next election. But Chandra Babu Naidugaru is not about elections. He is about the next generation. And that is what he has proved in Hyderabad. When he was planning the vision 2020, and he was doing the airport, the first of its kind airport. Nobody was thinking about Greenfield airports. He envisioned it in Begum, uh, Shamshabad. And he was thinking about liberalizing telecom network, road network, ring roads, IT, so many medtech zones, different kinds of activities. And he put it in the vision 2020. 
and he nurtured it like a child and today after 24 years we have crossed 28 years and now you go and see hyderabad city it is not just any other city in india it is a world class city that which and everyone in the country is proud of so the reason i am sharing this story is because today when we talk about drones and he talks with the same zeal that we would have seen in hyderabad in 96 he talks about drones as a way that can change the entire social economic and the physical fabric of this country and the way he envisions things being a youngster it is very difficult for me also to match up and catch up with his ideas all the time it keeps happening i feel that i have got a smart idea i've got a great idea when i go to him he adds 100 different features to it and he takes it to a much different level and that is the kind of inspiration he gives to all us youngsters today and today with his guidance with his support with his blessings in the nda alliance when we were given one cabinet ministry he didn't hesitate to give it to one of the youngest members in the cabinet today i'm just 36 years old and i'm sitting in the cabinet ministry he being his student and he being my mentor it is a great occasion for me and the kind of leadership kind of a uh, belief he has on the youngsters today i think i am the visible proof to all the youngsters who have come to this event today and similarly drones when he talks about how to improve it how to channelize them he has so many ideas and one thing he wanted was he wanted to listen to the industry he wanted all the people who are into manufacturing r&d innovation in this drone industry all of them come together let us hear them out let us see what they are doing because he realizes that there is a huge potential in this drone network and one potential that he has immediately realized couple of months back in fact a month back the city of vijayawada has been hit by severe floods and on one side when we had to do robust activities to provide relief rehabilitation to the people of vijayawada his mind was functioning on a different level i came to vijayawada to assist in the relief activities when he saw me he asked just one question where are the drones where are the drones i want all the drones in the country to come here to vijayawada because i see that they can help in providing relief and rehabilitation this thing and when we brought them we brought a record number of earlier there was no chief minister or no political leader using drones for disaster relief there was just one or two drones uh, going around for surveillance or very minimal activities but he envisioned if you properly utilize drones you can provide food you can provide milk you can provide medicines so this was a revolutionary idea of us us and we have showcased it to the entire country and in fact the pm honorable prime minister narendra modi ji also was so happy to see how drones were utilized in the relief activity in vijayawada and that is how the vision of chandrababu naidu ji works and with that vision we want to take drones to a much higher level by this summit in deliberating discussing with each and every one of you and making things go forward and another leader that i have to share along with my leader chandrababu naidu is the honorable prime minister narendra modi ji in fact he has put india in such a strong position across the world today india is no longer a follower of any other country india is a leader and trend setter and that is the change and the thought process the mindset our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji has brought to this country and the way that he has transformed the whole country in the last 10 years today people in different countries leaders of different countries they want to follow india they want to see how india is progressing they want to see how india is moving forward they want to learn from us and that is the leadership that is the commitment that is the dedication our honorable prime minister is giving us and he made a challenge to all the indians he made a commitment to all the indians that the indians have elected him for the third time as prime minister of india so what is he going to do when he is the third time prime minister of india he is going to work three times harder and what is the fifth largest economy in the world he is going to make it the third largest economy in the world what is 3 trillion dollar economy today he is going to make it 5 trillion dollar economy today so it is the thought process and the commitment of the honorable prime minister which is an inspiration for all of us and in fact he has put a special concentration on drones if you look at my civil aviation sector also in the last 10 years 
unimaginable growth. If I tell you the numbers today that we have achieved in civil aviation, you would be surprised at what the situation was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, India had just 74 airports. 74 airports in independence, so many things, so many activities, so many cities have come up. 74 airports have come. But in the last 10 years, under the visionary leadership of Honorable Prime Minister, we have increased the number of airports in the country from 74 to a huge number of 157. Can you think of it? 157 airports in the country. And we are not stopping there. In the next 20 years, we want to build 200 more airports. That is the capacity of civil aviation in this country today. And we are moving forward in that direction. Along with the civil aviation, just like how we have improved the number of airports, how we have increased the number of airlines and aircrafts, how we have increased the number of passengers traveling on through air. There is a, another sector in civil aviation, which is the drone sector, which is EVTOL sector, vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. These are the new technologies that are coming in. And whenever there is a new technology going around in the map, in the whole world, there are two people who want to pick it up immediately and bring it here. One is the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, and one is sitting right here with us, which is Chandra Babu Naidu Garu. Anything happening anywhere in the world, their whole idea is that I want to bring that technology to India, I want to get it to Andhra, I want to utilize it in such a way that the people of this country and this state are going to be benefited. With this thought process, we have achieved so much success. And some of the success that I want to share with you in terms of what the Ministry of Civil Aviation and Government of India is doing, is that over the past few years, India has emerged as a global leader in drone technology driven by innovation, policy reforms and strong industry partnerships. Today we have 132 remote pilot training organizations empowering a new generation of drone operators and more than 17,600 remote pilot certificates have been issued till today and 81 different kind of drone models have been type certified. You all have just heard from my secretary also that we have banned the total import of drones and why did we do it? We want to encourage more startups to come in this drone sector. We want people of this country to manufacture drones. We don't want to import drones and let the benefit go to some other country or some other company. We want people of this country to manufacture the drones. We want the young minds, the bright minds of this country to develop new drones, new type of drones so that we can cater to the solutions which are indigenous to our country. So with that mindset we banned, we liberalized the rules a little bit, drone rules of 2021, we liberalized so that the operation of drones can increase, more R&D, more investment can come into the drone technology and on top of that we have launched the PLI scheme for the drone industry and we have catered up to 120 crores and almost 27 companies I think have been benefited by this and I want to tell you that on behalf of the government of India we want to push more into this uh, uh, drone industry and assist you in more in manufacturing and also R&D and that is where I see that there is a commitment from Andhra Pradesh also to move in that direction so Ministry of Civil Aviation, Government of India and Government of Andhra Pradesh are both going to collaborate together strongly so that more R&D can happen and we are looking at a very good drone hub in Andhra Pradesh in the nearby future. And along with that we have the Digital Sky Platform which is a technological platform which is going to be used for registration of drones and almost 26,500 drones have been registered across the country. And our Honorable Prime Minister has said a country like India should need at least 1 lakh drones to be registered. So you see how much potential we have to the current requirement. We have around 27,000 right now. We have to reach up to 1 lakh drones. And our Honorable Prime Minister has been one of the strongest motivators to utilize drones also. And we have to take note of the program that he has started which is the Drone Didi program. Drone Didi program, he is empowering 30,000 women across the country. He is training them as drone pilots. He is telling them, why don't you use these drones in agricultural sector? Why don't you cut down the cost that the agriculture sector is facing today? Increase in the investment. And this is just one other case of use case that I am talking about. We have talked about drone uh, uh, usage in 
disaster relief we are talking about drones in agriculture we are talking about drones in road management construction management medical facilities transport of people so th there are multiple number of use cases that are possible in this sector and we all wanted to know from the industry itself on how to go forward and the one great thing andhra pradesh is looking at right now is formulating the drone policy and the best of it is that they are listening to you and then formulating it i think no other state would have taken this kind of initiative where they are calling in thousands of people from the industry talking to them knowing the issues knowing how the direction is to go forward and then collectively formulating the drone policy which is going to be the best in the country so with that thought process with that idea we want to provide full support to the government of andhra pradesh in its way forward i take the liberty of representing both the government of india and the government of andhra pradesh also coming from this state and me having the civil aviation ministry with myself i want to ensure that andhra pradesh has the best of its uh, to the best of its ability grows in the civil aviation sector and i imagine most of the people from the drone industry today are looking at the bvlos visible line of sight beyond visible line of sight and i want to tell that there are exciting developments happening we are confidently looking at how to facilitate to this bvlos problem in fact the american people the faa they are also still formulating the rules we are observing how the more world is moving towards it we are seeing how the world is formulating this policies regarding bvlos and i want to assure you that as the world moves in india is going to be there in the forefront and it is going to make it happen in this country also we are going to take the support of all the necessary departments other uh, ministries also and ensure that this bvlos issue which has been constantly tagged for expansive use of the drones we are going to tackle it in the nearby future also and also other things other issues that you would mention we are going to take a note of it we are thoroughly following up on all the discussions that you would be doing here we are going to note them down and even if it is amaravati or even if it is in delhi we want to ensure you that both the governments are going to facilitate to you in the best of its uh, uh, possibilities and ensure that the drone hub that we want to create in the state of andhra pradesh is going to flourish in the nearby future in the coming future and i wish each and every one of you a warm uh, uh, my greetings and a warm welcome once again to the summit a great enthusiasm is being seen by all the people here we thought if 1000 people can attend the event we would have reached the target that we have set here but i think the numbers that the uh, officials were sharing we had requests up to 6000 and many more also so you can see how the success of the event is in fact clear by now itself where there is a so much enthusiasm to participate in this event and so we are a lot of learning to do from this event today and uh, once again i would like to thank the government of andhra pradesh for, for uh, putting up so grand efforts into making this a uh, very successful event and my sincere thanks to honorable chief minister uh, chandrababu naidu garu for driving this whole thing forward and personally monitoring each and everything of this under his guidance i feel whatever success we are targeting to achieve especially in the drone sector and this category we will do it in the future we will work under you sir under your guidance we will take your suggestions and coordinated with the government of andhra pradesh we are going to ensure that the andhra pradesh is not going to be the drone hub of the country but the drone hub of the entire world and i once again welcome each and every one of you thank you very much jai hind